I'm Kevin Price with the Price of Business on Houston's home for Bloomberg Radio. I'm talking to David Jackson. He's with a company called Click Tools, and he's one of the many participants here at Dreamforce 2011 in San Francisco, California. It's a huge event with over 45,000 participants. We're glad to be here. Thanks to our sponsors over there at Baker Communications. Delighted to talk to you, David. You're, you're from England. By the way, my, I got family roots from England. Tell us a little bit about, about yourself and your company. Well, Click Tools has been going now for uh, 10 years. Uh, we were founded in the UK. We've got um, offices on the south coast of the UK, and uh, but half our staff is actually based in Phoenix in the USA. Okay. Vast, if, if many if not most of the companies here at this event were were born, if you will, directly out of Salesforce.com. In fact, a huge number of these people are actually former uh, staff members of Salesforce.com. You guys are clearly different. So, how are you transitioning yourself to be a major player in the Salesforce universe? Yeah, we started out as a company totally independent of Salesforce.com, um, but since then we've um, we were the first European partner for Salesforce back in 2004, the first European software partner, um, and it's really grown and grown and grown. And we've built a product which is provides some functionality that Salesforce doesn't have, but a lot of customers want the ability to build forms and surveys and and, um, and call scripts. Um, so we really do um, pull a lot of the Salesforce customers in. I guess in some ways you could say we're a little bit of a parasite. Yeah. We grow off them, as they grow, we grow. Great. Tell us a little bit about the awards you've won. You've won an award three years in a row, great distinction. Tell us what it means to, to the audience out there. Sure. The, um, the Salesforce Customer Choice Awards are awards which are voted for only by customers. So you can only win them based on what customers say about your, uh, your app. Um, they've been running for three years now, and we've won the award for best survey tool for those th three years, 2008, 2009, 2010. We hope to do the same in 2011. And it really just is a recognition from customers as to how good our application, and by the way, our support is also. And it means a great deal. People go onto the App Exchange, they look at the reviews, the whole thing around social networking and the ability to, uh, to use reviews and in shaping your decision making, it's a big thing for us. It matters a lot. Scalability is a huge factor on, on tools for applications for Salesforce.com. Talk about your scalability and talk about the type of companies that are benefiting from your program. Yeah, well we built the app um, from the ground up so it could be scalable. Um, and we actually serve customers from small one, two man organizations through to some of the world's largest global enterprises like Procter & Gamble, American Express, um, Royal Bank of Scotland. Um, they all use the same platform, we use the same model that Salesforce does. It's a multi-tenant application. Um, and as, as requirements grow, we just add more and more service strength. We tweak the software to just keep that, that application going. When you get a, uh, when you find a client that you want to pursue, tell me how that process works. What is your sales cadence like? Um, a lot of our leads come through the App Exchange. It's a great shop window for us. It's probably our most effective lead gen tool. Um, <clears throat> so we pick up a lot there. Uh, we've been at these events now since I think 2005, uh, six. Um, so we pick up a lot here. Um, if you're a Salesforce customer, you're a potential ClickTools customer. Mm -hmm. And we just pick those up, we explain what we do, we explain how we complement what Salesforce does, and uh, I think you know the reviews and the quality of the app, the quality of support, it doesn't quite always sell itself, but it's a great tool for us. What percentage of your business would you say comes through that? Um, Salesforce accounts for about 55% of our business. That's, that's very significant. What kind, of, uh, what kind of process was required to be able to be sold on in their store? Um, you have to go through a certification, and it's a certification which tests your application. It looks at security, it looks at the, um, uh, the quality of the application itself. <coughs> it's an annual certification, so we have to pass that each year. Uh, and so far, we've always, uh, we've always passed that with flying colors. Tell me a little bit about the uh, challenges you're seeing now things you're, you're kind of uh, concerned about going forward for the next 12 months when it comes to business in general and your business in particular? Um, I think the whole theme of the conference has got it in one, the whole social media piece. The world is becoming social, the social enterprise as Mark Benioff calls it. Um, and that's a new, so, so our tool is all around collecting feedback from customers in different ways. And social networks, the whole social experience, the peer-to-peer -peer piece is a big thing and we have to be able to adapt to that. All right, his name's David Jackson. His company's called Click Tools. I'm assuming the website is clicktools.com. Clicktools All right, I encourage people to check it out. Meanwhile, I'm Kevin Price with The Price of Business.